Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you one of the recent use case that we have done using Power Automate and our QuickBooks Online Connector. So nowadays you might have observed the biggest problem for all the businesses are basically, you know, the outstanding invoices. Either they need human intervention or, you know, they are getting piled up without, you know, um, track properly or, you know, um, end of the year, they are converted to bad debt to the company. So we have, uh, you know, came up with a solution which actually extracts the invoice details plus the actual invoice from QuickBooks and store the data inside the database. And then using Power Automate Cloudflow, it actually tracks which invoices are paid, which are not. And if they are not, it sends the automated follow-up reminder for the payment by, you know, every month end or every week. I mean, we can tweak the frequency of the email sent. And we have achieved this completely using Microsoft services, which is uh, Power Automate and our QuickBooks Online Connector. So in this video, I'm going to show you that particular use case, uh, you know, where we have helped our client to track all the outstanding invoices uh, for his company and, you know, save all the manual efforts that the admin was doing. So as you can see on my screen, so these two are the API endpoints that we have used to download the invoices and attachments. So this is the API endpoint to download the invoices and attachment. And then this is basically to fetch all the invoice metadata, uh, you know, so as you can see on my screen, so I have all the uh, metadata for that particular invoice. What was the total amount? What was the quantity, unit price, ID, uh, you know, all these different uh, parameters that I have. So, uh, we have written a Python script to fetch the data from this two API endpoint and host the data inside a SQL database hosted inside Azure. So just to show you how that table looks, I have loaded that table inside Power BI. So this was the table. So as you can see, uh, I have my invoice ID, client ID, uh, document number, what was the due date, what was the total amount, what was the customer reference number, customer name, and most importantly, what was the status of the invoice? So as you can see, I have all the invoices. I have open, overdue, paid, voided, and blank. So uh, for the paid one, I'm least further because they are paid. So the mostly uh, we will be, uh, you know, focusing more on open and overdue. So as I can see, so if I click on overdue and due, so the next status actually gives me you know, uh, what was the number of days uh, that it was overdue? So as you can see, uh, you know, the uh, let's say for this particular invoice, the uh, invoice is getting due in one day, 10 day, uh, 117 day, 12 days, 13 days. These are due and these are overdue. So, yeah, and this is basically the link to the uh, invoice. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how we are downloading this invoice. So uh, the script runs every morning. So it looks for, you know, if there are any new invoice that was created or, or if there are, you know, changes to the existing invoices. So the script takes care of everything. So if it is a new invoice, it just updates that particular new line item in the table. And if it is, you know, a modification on the existing invoice, it takes that particular record and it updates that relevant parameter or, or it updates that relevant invoice attachment. So let's go back to the client tenant. So this is the flow that we have written. Uh, so th what this flow does is basically to uh, pull the data from uh, the Azure SQL database and put it into the SharePoint uh, list because you know uh, SharePoint list is used as you know the uh, the uh, common channel for everyone because you know everyone doesn't have access to the SQL database so we have used this and we have created the list over here as you can see and the flow runs two times uh, once in the morning once in the evening and this is basically whenever a new line item is created it takes the data and put that into this shape and list as you can see over here and coming to the next flow which runs when the invoice is modified so uh you know yeah so as you can see both 
uh, runs are successful. So whenever an invoice is modified, it goes to that SharePoint list. It takes that particular ID and it updates that particular uh, detail of that particular invoice line item. And in order to see uh, that particular invoice, you just have to click on over here. Okay, let me sign in. So if you click on the attachment, you should be able to see that particular invoice, you see. So we are loading only the outstanding invoices over here. And so let's say, you know, in an organization, there are a lot of users, you know, 50 plus users in a big, uh, in a big organization or medium organization. Then to, you know, uh, go through each and every invoices, which is not, in, uh, which is not even re uh, relevant to you. Uh, doesn't make any sense. So we have written uh, the uh, security policies as well, which will take the default logged in user. So let's say this is the logged in user and it will search if there are any uh, invoices, outstanding invoices, which are tagged against this guy. So if it is, then it will show you only those invoices. So if I click refresh, you see, it takes me. So I'm the logged in user and i do not have any invoices which are overdue on my name so hence i see blank if i remove this i should be able to see all the uh, outstanding invoices now to take the follow-up we have written one more power automate cloud flow which actually runs every month end and it looks for all the uh, you know invoices for which we haven't sent the follow-up and how we have done it is we have created a custom column over here called follow up month. If it is blank, uh, then it sends the email and uh, updates this particular uh, column uh, value as yes. So that next time when it runs, it does not send that particular follow up to avoid the duplication email. So uh, let, let me show you how the email looks like. Right, so this is the email subject and this is the email body and this is the email attachment and these all automated and this is basically dynamic so it takes uh, the value from here the client name and the recipient is client email so yeah i hope uh, you know you like this completely automated solution that we have made for invoice tracker and if you need the solution or if you have any question please reach us out at video Club limited